Hi, my name is Abhishek Bhattewara and I work with Click Solar. Click Solar manufactures Arun Solar Concentrators which can be used to provide hot water, provide steam, provide thermic oil or even hot air to various industries. The temperatures it can reach are up to 350 to 400 degrees Celsius. In this session, I am going to talk about the Arun Technology Basics and its various installation case studies. Let us begin with the presentation. Industries require energy in the form of heat as well as electricity. Solar energy can be harnessed to provide both. In this session, we will concentrate on the use of solar energy to provide heat, which is further used in applications like process heating, cooking, air conditioning, etc. Solar thermal technologies can be classified based on whether they are concentrating or non-concentrating. Non-concentrating technologies are used for lower temperature applications up to about 60 to 70 degrees Celsius, while the concentrating technologies are used for higher temperature applications, sometimes even giving up to 350 to 400 degrees Celsius. The efficiencies as well as the cost of the solar thermal technologies will increase as you go from top to bottom of this chart. The Arun technology is a two-axis tracking paraboloid dish reflector. Let us see how the Arun technology works. Its working is based on two very basic principles, one of a magnifying glass and the other of a sunflower. A magnifying glass concentrates sunlight at a single point with the help of parabolic lenses. Similarly, Arun uses an ingenious Fresnelized mirror arrangement scheme to get a three-dimensional parabola effect. Like a sunflower, a room automatically tracks the sun from sunrise to sunset on both east-west and north-south axis to intercept maximum sunlight throughout the year, irrespective of the installation location. This is how an Arun solar concentrator looks like. Currently, there are three variants of the Arun technology, Arun 160, Arun 100 and Arun 30. Arun dish is mounted on a single column, thus occupying ground area of less than 3 meters by 3 meters. It can be operated in various thermic media including steam, water, hot oil, hot air, etc. and reach temperatures and pressures of up to 350 degrees or 20 bar respectively. The lifespan of an Arun dish is greater than 25 years. Optics, Receiver, tracking system and the integration scheme are the four most crucial components of any solar concentrator system. Let us understand each of them in the next few slides. Let's begin with optics. This is a parabolic reflector and its focus. The principle of a parabolic reflector is that any rays that are incident perpendicular to, the, to its surface will all be reflected at a single point at its focus. To minimize high accuracy, sorry, to maintain high accuracy while minimizing the costs of manufacturing, erection and maintenance, a Fresnel mirror arrangement has been employed in the Arun technology. In this arrangement, small slices of bigger parabolic reflector are cut and placed in the same horizontal plane as you can see in this diagram. They are arranged in such a manner that any rays that are incident on any of these reflectors will all get concentrated at the same point. If no heat is evacuated at this point, the temperature will be greater than 1500 degrees Celsius. Now we have managed to create very high temperatures using this concentrator concentration principle. In order to use this energy, we have to capture it using a thermic fluid like say water. If water is passed through this point, it will absorb the heat and increase in temperature and eventually get converted to steam. The temperature at the output can be controlled by varying the flow rate of this water. So if the flow rate of water is decreased, it will spend more time at the focus and attain higher temperatures and vice versa. 
The second important component of the system is the receiver, which is placed at the point of the concentration. Since, since hot air tends to rise, by having a cavity-shaped receiver, maximum energy can be trapped inside the receiver, thereby minimizing the thermal losses. Thus, it is possible to del deliver steam as early as 8.30 am also. The third important component is the tracking system. Arun's dual axis completely automated tracking system is based on both chronological tra tracking as well as light sensing tracking mechanism. This dual mechanism tracking system ensures tracking accuracies of 99.5% plus. Now with the best optics receiver and tracking system, we have managed to generate steam. Let us now see how it can be used in an industrial setting. Most industries use boilers to generate steam. This steam through the boiler header is fed to various applications. The condensate may or may not be recovered. Now when the Arun concentrator system is installed, it is generally integrated with the existing common steam header. Whenever the sun is available, steam will be delivered by the Arun solar boiler and the conventional boiler will remain switched off, thereby saving the fuel it would have otherwise consumed. When the sun is not available, like on a cloudy day or at night, the conventional boiler will automatically get fired, thereby delivering steam to the application 24 by 7 without any interruptions. Sometimes the requirement of steam does not match with the availability of the sun, hence storage is necessary. This is the integration scheme for an Arun solar thermal system with thermal storage. The detailed mechanism of how this system works is explained in another YouTube video on our Click Solar TV channel. Now before moving on to see some of the actual installations of the Arun technology, let us quickly note its key features. Firstly, since it is mounted on a single column of less than 1 meter dia, it requires very less ground space and hence can be mounted in areas with even severe space constraints. Due to its high concentration ratios, it can be used for applications which require temperatures even up to 300 to 350 degrees Celsius. Again, since it can achieve higher temperatures, it has been successfully used to store thermal energy in the form of pressurized hot water. This pressurized hot water can then be converted to steam either by flashing or through a heat exchanger. Since it is a very slow moving structure, the Arun dish requires very less maintenance. It is India's first IBR approved solar boiler. Arun dish can withstand wind speeds of up to 150 km per hour and can operate in wind speeds of up to 45 km per hour. Here are some of the applications in industries where the Arun technology can be used. It can also be used in hotels, hospitals, for cooking, as well as for cooling. Now let us study some of the case studies of the Arun installations. These are some of the installations across the country. Let us go through some in the next few slides. Four Arun 160 dishes have been installed at heavy water board plant in Kota to deliver steam at 5 bar or 150 degrees Celsius. This, the system was commissioned in March 2010 and it can deliver up to 400 kg per hour of steam on a clear sunny day. The Arun dish installed at Akshardham temple delivers 6 bar steam in the existing boiler header. This system got the best technology award at the prestigious InterSolar Europe awards held in Germany in July 2013. Two Arun dishes installed at ITC Moria Hotel in New Delhi deliver up to 8 bar steam at about 200 kg per hour. This system is used for laundry, cooking and heating water for bathing. One of the dishes is mounted on a column on a 3 by 3 meter scrap uh, on a th in a 3 by 3 meter scrap yard while the other is mounted on top of the conference hall. 
The weight of this second dish has been split on four columns by an innovative cross beam structure. The Arun dishes installed at NTPC are being used for comfort cooling. In comfort cooling, the Arun dishes provide steam to a vapor absorption machine. The job of the, of the vapor absorption machine is to convert heat energy into cold energy. It delivers this in the form of 7 degrees cold water which runs through the fan coiled units installed in the office rooms. When the air is blown over, is blown over these coils, it provides cooling inside the room. This is one of India's first and biggest solar cooling projects. It is also one of the world's first solar cooling project where storage has been integrated. This one of a kind and pioneering project was awarded the best project award from amongst more than 300 entries at the InterSolar India Awards 2012. The turnkey project was installed by Click Solar. Two Arun dishes have been installed on the fourth story of Chitali Dairy Plant in Sangli in Maharashtra. It delivers steam to the boiler header for its milk pasteurization process. This has been operational since October 2009. At TVS Group Company, Turbo Energy Limited in Chennai, two Arun dishes are delivering pressurized hot water up to 180 degrees Celsius to a vapor absorption machine for comfort cooling again. The first Arun dish was installed at Mahananda Dairy in Latur way back in 2006. It is still working with maximum efficiency and delivering pressurized hot water at any time of the day or night for milk pasteurization process. Because of the thermal storage provided, almost 100% of the energy can be catered to by the Arun system on a good sunny day. One Arun dish has also been installed at Mahindra plant in Chakan, Pune to provide pressurized hot water for the degreasing process. You can see that the height of the column has been increased here. This was done to allow the area below the dish to be used for other purposes. Now let us quickly see the financial benefits of investing in such a system. The government gives financial incentives in the form of capital subsidy and tax benefit in the form of 80% accelerated depreciation. Recently, extra grants have also been provided under the UNDP GEF projects. The Arun Solar Boiler system helps in reducing the use of fuels such as LPG, furnace oil, diesel, etc. The payback period depends upon the fuel that is being saved. If a plant is using LPG, payback period of installing Arun system will be less than 3 years. It will be 3 to 4 years if furnace oil, diesel, pipe natural gas or other liquid fuels are being substituted. For solid fuels, the payback periods will be longer, about 5 to 7 years. Same is the case for solar cooling projects. Against a life of 20 to 25 years, these payback periods look very attractive. Before I end, I'll just, I'll just take a minute more to talk about Click Solar the innovator of this Arun technology. Click Solar provides a one-stop turnkey solution from system design, manufacturing, installation, integration with existing system in the industry as well as lifelong maintenance support of the system. It was the first to install a solar concentrator for process heat application way back in 2006. Click Solar is an MNRI channel partner. This helps it in deducting the subsidy upfront for clients it is a winner of many prestigious national and international awards for its technology and projects. As you can see in this slide. Thank you for your time. I hope I was able to give you a basic understanding of solar concentrators, specifically the Arun technology and its various applications. For more information, please visit our website www.clicksolar.com. We can also see some interesting videos at our YouTube channel www.youtube.com slash clicksolartv. I will end this presentation with a small clip of the Arun dish installation at Mahindra plant in Pune. It shows in real time how the Arun dish automatically tracks the sun from morning to evening.
This time-lapse video has been created by capturing images every one minute throughout the day. Thank you again. Please feel free to write to me at ADB, that is Asian Development Bank, at clicksolar.com. I repeat, ADB at clicksolar.com. Thank you.